Hey guys, I'm LB, and as you can see, we are checking out Intrication by Quentin, which apparently when you load the map, it has to load twice for some reason. Caught me off guard. Intrication by Quentin. This map is inspired by the Quantum Entanglement Sirai, and uses a similar concept but in a more free way. There's an official walkthrough, there's two levels of difficulty, normal for everybody who wants to discover the concept, and advanced for people who like brain challenges, especially for the three last levels. Plus, there's a secret minigame made by Top Hat Waffle hidden in the map. Note, you can use F7 to reload the game where you left it. There's a hint if you're stuck, screenshot for help, special thanks to Portal Shroob for- uh, not Shroob, Shoob for playtesting, and J and IMI, or LML, who brilliantly finished the whole map. Soundtrack from Nihilumbra, which we will not be listening to, I am going to be muting that whenever it starts playing. Or I can just turn it off here, I suppose. There we go, that works. There we go, difficulty advanced. Game saved. Hmm. I must say, these are cool-looking graphics. What are these things? Ah, that tells you where the cubes respawn at. Isn't that nice? At least I think it does. Maybe? Did they? What? Did they move? Or is that just my imagination? Maybe they're just further away than I remembered. Alright, whatever, so... Uh... Man, this looks neat. Oh, that's, uh... That reflection gel, I suppose. How do I get in there, though? Hmm... What? Hmm... What exactly am I doing here? Is there, like... Is there... Uh... <laughs> I'm a bit confused here. What the? Oh! 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 It's quantum entanglement! Right, they did say that, didn't they? Yeah, quantum entanglement. I've played the quantum entanglement series and I totally forgot about it. Uh... Oh, apparently I was misinterpreting where the laser was. Okay. Here's the thing. Can I rotate this cube how I want it? Like, like that, and then pick up this cube and have it stay rotated that way? No. Okay. So this is gonna be awkward no matter what. Gotcha. Oh, come on! <laughs> What the? What? I died? Why did I die? I think something's happening not quite the way it's supposed to here. Then again, it wouldn't be the first time I've died to a bug in one of Quentin's maps. <laughs> Alright, so. I think they maybe expected me to pick up the regular cube first to see what was happening. But, uh, I'm not the kind of player who picks up a regular cube first. I always go for the laser cube first. Okay, I need to figure out a better position for these things, such that I don't have to move in such awkward ways. How about that? Wait, now it's backwards? How did I get it to go backwards? It wasn't doing that before, was it? Am I- am I going crazy? It totally wasn't doing that before. How about... oh, this is something, isn't it? Oh, it was, but, uh... hmm. Also, it's kinda hard to judge where the cube is, exactly. What is it hitting that's not reflecting off of? Must be this. So our goal is to just get it to reflect on the that, right? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh my goodness, I can't hardly tell what I'm doing here. portals anywhere, so... I just need to find... Is this really just guess the angle? I just need to guess the angle, huh? Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go, I'm doing that. Cause that's driving me crazy. Hmm. That's not exactly gonna help me. So... Wait, what? Okay then, how did I not find that earlier? Apparently that works. Alright then. <laughs> Hopefully the rest are not guessy angle puzzles. What is this? Well, I'm not dying, so that's good news, right? Hello. Another button. Am I supposed to assume there's another button here? Hmm, which one is the one that does the thing? Not this one. So it's the one that looks like the ground. The purpley one. This is the one that does the things. What happens? I should probably avoid that fizzler, right? There was not another button. Oh, apparently that doesn't fizzle it, huh? Hmm. This is just decorative? Bit confused about what's going on here. What the? <laughs> oh, this is- this is so strange. What? <laughs> Man, now you understand why Quantum Entanglement always had them rather out of reach. Hmm... I wonder something... I didn't see this here. How do these work with portals, though? That's what I'm curious about. Okay, that doesn't work with portals. What about this? I'm not entirely sure what just happened there. Something happened there. Uh... Guys? Where'd the cube go? <laughs> okay then. This is certainly bizarre. Yeah, you can understand why the Quantum Entanglement series always kept things well out of reach. To prevent you from discovering... just how... strange this is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's a perpetual motion machine now. This is bizarre, isn't it? Oh, wow. <laughs> so strange. I'm gonna spend half of this map just admiring the strange physics of everything here. 
and less than half of the map solving puzzles. What is even going on here? <laughs> Alright, let's put this on the other side. What the? Come on! <laughs> Come on! What caused that to happen? Eh, bugs will be bugs, I suppose. Right. Let's, let's, uh, let's figure out a better way to do this. I'll put it that far away. How about that? I wanna see if this works like I think it does. Yeah, it does. Exactly like I think it does. Except... What? Okay, that's not exactly like I think it does. Um... Happening. I'm so confused! Somebody help! Somebody explain these things to me! Um... And I died again. Because of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's focus on solving the puzzle now. There's some X's on the walls and floors. I think the another button, or what have you, is supposedly there, perhaps. Maybe. Right, I gotta press this first. So, let's do this the easy way. Let's put this onto this button. And then put this onto the... another button? Maybe? What is this X for? Maybe I want these the other way around? I'm not entirely sure here. Let's try getting these the other way around. So if I put this here... And then I put this one on here... Then... Oh, what? There's a whole area up there I didn't even see?! Oh, that's cool looking. Oh! Hello there! Wah! Hello there! What are all these X's for? Wasn't oh, this cool looking? There's a whole bunch of X's everywhere. I don't know what they're for. Wait, what? Did that cube just decide to stop following orders? What the? Why do I just die randomly? That makes no sense. None of this makes any sense. Alright. Okay. Hold on a sec. Just give me a second to process this. I don't understand what that's supposed to reference. First of all, first of all, I need to swap these cubes positions. Where did it go? It's over there now. Um... I don't understand what I'm doing. I don't see any other buttons. There's a 1 and a 2. Oh, it's that thing! Oh! Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> that's got the other button on it. Yeah, that's got the other button on it. Okay, that makes sense. So, we just need to manipulate these cubes in such a way... ...so as to get one of them up there. Okay, now things are making sense. Sort of. 
Not quite what I wanted. This actually tells me where to put the cubes, I think. Hmm. Wow. The actual solution is to make it go through the wall in such a way that it bugs out. Alright, so. There's that. Now, how do we get it back? How do we get anything on this button now? Unless I can just portal through. No, I can't. Nope, so I do have to get a cube on there. What about... here? Oh, right, but I wanna... I wanna align it... properly. There we go. Or do I? Great, now I'm confused. <laughs> uh... Well, let's just see what happens when we do this. Let's put it like this. Yeah, okay. So the cube is off there, and I can't do much about it. Uh-huh. Gotcha. What if... What if I do that? No, they're still positioned the wrong way from how I want them. Gotcha. So... How about... How about I correct them? I put this guy here. I'm probably overcomplicating this somehow, but I did choose advanced. Let's say medium. There we go. Put this guy here. Maybe this'll get us somewhere. Oh, but... See, what I wanted to do was this. Okay, so I just need to move the cubes further apart now. But I have the right idea. If I put this guy all the way here... And this guy... maybe... here? Let's try that. Oh, that's too much! Right, I need them closer. Okay then. Uh, actually, why don't I just do this? Right, because it's gonna... crap. <laughs> Where did the cube go? What? How did it get there? That makes no sense. There we go. So oh my gosh! 
Why do you have such a large hitbox? I wanted to grab the cube, not the button. Hmm. Ah, uh, excuse me. Thank you. That was weird. Not sure what caused that, to be honest. We'll figure out the right distance eventually, because this wasn't right, so maybe this is. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, here we go. The X has lied. Yeah! Did it. Don't trust the X's. Cube's angle is relative to the one of the quantum cube. Okay then. We got two quantum cubes. And they're facing different directions. What if I turn it around? No, it always faces to the right. And this one always faces forward. Interesting. So, that means... if I do this... Yeah, okay, so this is the one that's gonna go... There. And this is the one that's gonna go... there. I see. Let's line this up, first of all, like this. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yes. I see. Almost there. Eh, whatever. Close enough. Now we should be able to do this. Not sure what all these portal surfaces are for, but maybe we'll find out shortly. Hey, did it! What were all these portal surfaces for? Who knows? Are these antlines? What is this blue stripe? And that orange stripe. I guess they're just decorations. Yeah, I think they're just decorative. Okay, they're just part of the environment. Right, so... No! <laughs> oh man, you gotta love that. No! <laughs> no cubes! Apparently there's like a light bridge or something? Who knows? Oh, no. I think I see what they want me to do. <laughs> Why did I move this one? I just need to move this one over here. There we go. Okay, that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? So it has to actually stop moving for its position to update. There we go. What? Are you telling me not to touch the red stuff? Can't touch the red stuff, huh? Okay. Let's try this again. If I do... this... Mm-hmm...
No, come on. Hmm. Maybe let's not put this so far ahead of ourselves. Let's try that. Um, okay, it's not enough. Let's try this. There we go. Thank goodness for shadows. Much easier. Okay, so, that's still a bit of an issue. Hmm... I need it to go more to the left of this one, is the issue. How am I gonna set this up? Start off like this again. There we go. Um, how about... Crap. <laughs> but I think we're on the right track. There we go. And then, maybe we can do this? Sort of? Kind of? Hey! No idea if I did that right or not. Ooh. Oh. I don't know if this will kill me or not. Uh. No, it only kills the cubes. Okay. Interesting. What was this? Snowflakes? Spiderwebs? They're not even that well connected, but uh, okay. You can put a cube between window panes. What? I mean, inside the glass? Okay. Maybe- maybe so. Right. So we have to do this first. Interesting decorations for the environment, I must say. What is that? Oh, that's another cube, isn't it? That's a whole other cube, isn't it? Why is that the cube not following me anymore? Why are the cubes not following anymore? I think I bugged out the game. Something's definitely not right here. Um... Let's start over. Hmm. There's a button way up there, huh? I don't have any portal surfaces, right? 
Alright, well, let's get this cube down, at least. Uh, no, I meant this cube down. Thank you. Alright, so, now we have two cubes. We need to get that one, don't we? How are we gonna do that? Come on! I haven't tried that, now that I think about it, so... I do want to test that, at the very least. are really strange with this. Either way, it doesn't work the way I want it. It's, that kills you! That just kills you if it's moving at all and you touch it. Strange. Strange, strange, strange. Carefully. Careful. Oh, I can just push the cube. Right. Forgot. Hey! That makes things easier, doesn't it? Not sure if pushing the cube is intended, but I'll take it. Um... Now I have a bit of a problem, don't I? What the? Apparently this does not count as a stable position for them. I don't even know what I'm trying to accomplish here. I just want to jump on these cubes. Oh gosh. Hey! I accomplished nothing. What's happening down there? Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Well, that didn't turn out too well for me, now did it? What am I even trying to do here? What 
is even the point of this? Also, I'm pretty sure this can kill me now, right? Oh yeah, that definitely... that's definitely... deadly. Although I don't incinerate immediately upon contact, which is disappointing. Instead I just kind of fall in, and it's kind of like... a warm sensation... of deadly goo. Huh. So what exactly am I trying to do here? I know I need to hit that somehow, but I have no idea... even remotely how to attempt that. Like, almost- it always seems like leaving up there would've been better, but evidently not. Well, that's a uh, weird rendering bug. Look at that, the glass is transparent now. Weird. Alright, so. We have this. What do I want to do with it? I know, supposedly, I can put cubes in... ...in the glass, between the panes, but why would I want to do that? Hooray, I did it! <laughs> What's the point? Dot? What, what would his dot go to? There's a dot somewhere? Oh right, it goes to that. Yeah, duh, forgot. Already forgot. Um... Those go quite a distance, don't they? Uh, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here, to be honest. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Are they like... do they rotate slightly different ways? Almost. Yeah, when this cube turns sideways, the blue one turns sideways with it, but then the green one... the green one rotates towards me. Yeah, they rotate differently. Strange. Yeah, they rotate differently. Isn't that strange? Huh. But what am I supposed to be doing? I really don't understand. I need to hit that somehow, but I don't have... I don't have a means to do that. Goodbye! No, that didn't- that didn't have any effect, did it? What happens if I throw cubes, by the way? I should probably have asked that question a long time ago. Oh, 
Oh, that was... That confused my brain. Oh, now they're separated. <laughs> what am I doing, though? I need to get a cube up there, and I literally don't see a way to do it. Like, what happens if I just do this? Yeah, kinda what I thought to happen. How am I supposed to do that? Oh, I was about to say, you know, I could be trapped, technically. Was I supposed to do that? Is that a thing that was meant to be done? No, because it just turns back on. Well then what's the point? What's the point? So confused, what's the point? I- I can't- can't move these green things at all. It does say difficult. You can put a key between window panes. Yes, I know. Difficult, but what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand that. I really don't understand what I'm doing here. Why would I want to put a cube between the panes? That's interesting now, isn't it? So you can kind of throw cubes, but not really. Oh, and that cube- Wait, what? How was I supposed to know that could happen? Wait, what? Wait, what? I don't- What? What is happening right now? What? What? Is that a bug? What is happening there? How is I- is that meant to happen? How am I supposed to know that that's a thing? Without actually trying it? And that doesn't even help me, so... And now there's no cube there! Where'd my other cube go? I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> that is so strange looking. None of this makes any sense! 
Is the green cube differently behaved on purpose, or am I going crazy here? Like, am I supposed to know that this is a thing that can happen? Well, it pressed the- it pressed the button. Uh, I've lost that cube a long time ago. Am I just supposed to know that these- Cause like, normally when you fizzle one of the cubes, all the cubes fizzle. But apparently... Apparently the green cube acts differently? How are you supposed to know such a thing? Oh, now it just landed somewhere. Oh, okay, that's, uh, strange. Okay, now it's back. Somehow. <laughs> and can I do this? But now that cube's out of position. Well, darn. Huh. Hello. <laughs> I supposed to know these things? I guess the tutorial I skipped? Maybe... Okay, so here's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing the normal difficulty was the tutorial, and that the advanced difficulty was more maps, assuming you've already played the tutorial. So maybe... maybe I was supposed to play normal first. I don't know. That's... that's my guess. Right, so... Either way, we figured out what to do now, sort of. So, I want to do... Uh... I need to get the blue cube closer, is what I want to do. That should work, theoretically. Okay, now I can take the green cube and get, uh, get it set up to fizzle. Oh, that's why I need to put it in between the glass, okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey! I figured it out somehow. <laughs> which cube should go on which button? What the heck is this? Cube only. Okay, then. Keep portals. What? Can you tell me what the scissor does? Uh, the scissor does nothing, I'll have you know. Get back here. Uh, oh crap. Oh no! <laughs> uh, um... This 
this is my life now. <laughs> Enjoy the view. Alright, well, we're good and trapped. Let's get out of here. Alright, so, let's investigate some more. Hmm. A button with no signage. Unless that's the signage. Maybe it is. What a weird layout. Okay, so. Enough dilly dallying. Let's press this button. Those are the only two cubes we get. That cube looks weird. I've not seen a cube like that before. Why does it look all gross? Oh, we can't pick it up. Oh. But we can push it. Can't pick it up, but we can push it. Because of course we can. Weird. Swap these around somehow. What happens if I do this? Aha! Excellent. Oh, come on! I didn't expect it to work like that. Right, so. Let's do this maneuver again. There we go. Aha! Now that's something. Can I get them closer together, maybe? Got them close together now. <laughs> Not sure if that was a good idea or a bad idea, but I've done it. Oh crap, I think I see what I'm supposed to be doing anyway. So like, I want this cube in here, right?
Wait a sec, why are there portal surfaces inside there? That doesn't make any sense. Why are there portal surfaces inside there? There's no way I could ever shoot- shoot a portal in there. Also... How do I get back? That's a good question, right? I know this didn't work out too well for me last time, but just- just trust me. Okay, I can get back over here now. Hey, fancy that. Let's, let's, um, let's do some investigations here. That was weird. Oh, come on! Come on! Alright, fine, well. I think I sort of have an idea of what to do now. At the very least. Wait... Crap. You have to do this first, I think. Wait, what? That's... not what was supposed to happen, game. Right? Okay, now I think it worked, somewhat. I don't know where it's at now. Oh, come on! It was somewhere over here, I bet. Ah, yeah, it fell into that, okay. This is kind of strange to think about and visualize. Um Can I just press this from here? Cuz I'm lazy. There, I'm lazy. <laughs> you caught me. I'm lazy. It survived. What? What? It's a laser cube? <laughs> <laughs> Strange. Hmm. How long is this map indeed? This is a Quentin map. Which means it's quite long. Uh. Right, so. Next order of business. Oh crap, I didn't mean to actually fall in. I just wanted to ride the railing. Let's, let's try this again. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Now. Aha. Oh, come on now, don't fall off the button. You're making this harder on me. Well... Crap. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? Cause that's the one where I need this to be in that, cause it's the only way I can get past the glass. This guy's gotta be here. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's just start over, shall we?
Come on. Come along. Ha! I'm on the button. Look at that fancy font. I keep accidentally thinking it says double tap, but it says cube only. I don't know why I would think it says double tap. Ah, oh, crap. That's distinctly not what I wanted. Right, so... I can bring this guy over here, but do I want to? Oh, doesn't even work the way I expected. Yeah, you can tell it's a lizard cube because of the way it, it rolls on its face like that. Huh. Oh, now it does work the way... Um... Crap. <laughs> Why did you let go? I did not press any keys at all. Like, these cubes will just let go of themselves sometimes. What are these little yellow things, I wonder? So, I need to create a further distance between these somehow. How can I can push this sometimes, but not other times? Mysterious. How, how did I push that? What? This game makes no sense. I don't know how I did that. So here's the thing, right? No way to get a portal in there, so it definitely has to be... ...the stone cube on this- on this button. I think I have an idea. Uh-huh.
I mean, that sort of helps, but not, not, not too much, to be honest. Yeah, that- that was gonna happen, wasn't it? I need to separate these cubes, but I don't know how to separate them properly. Cause I can't bring a cube into here very easily, can I? At least not in a way that'll help me separate them the way I want to. Hmm. This is taking a long time, but trust me, I'm- I'm working on it. <laughs> Quentin will want to see the whole thing. I know we're over an hour in. Relax. This isn't the only Quentin map to take over an hour. So. Let's do this. Gotcha. I'm not actually gonna take it out from that side, I just need to write it across. Are you kidding me? What in the world happened there? Why does that keep happening? What is with these cubes just randomly killing me? It makes no sense. Okay. I need to make better use of quick saves. What the? I heard a cube dropper somewhere. Why? 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 Where'd my cube go? Well, that's something I haven't tried yet now, is- isn't it? Finally, jeez!
Wait. What? Why does it keep letting go of cubes? What is the purpose? What's even going on there? There we go. Okay. Save here. And I don't see the cube. Let's go back. Sorry, I had to sneeze. I'm allergic to being confused by Quentin maps. I still don't see the cube. Where the heck is the cube going? Somehow it survived. I don't know where it was, though. Hmm... Okay, so first of all, what happens to the cube when I go through this way? Mm-hmm. Rotate it as I expected. Now we have this bit of a problem, don't we? Yeah, that's gonna continue to be an issue, isn't it? By Jove, I might have done it. If it'll stop moving. No! Why? That should totally work. 
Shouldn't it? That totally should work, shouldn't it? Okay, well, first of all, let's, um... Cube to rotate off of this button, maybe. There we go. That was weird. <laughs> Why did that happen like that? Holy crap! Finally, I'll take it. <laughs> And there's more. Holy crap. <laughs> Quentin, what have you gotten me into here? What is happening anymore? What is this? Oh, that thing has numbers on it. It's time to think with portals. Very difficult, huh? Oh, no. <laughs> Well... <laughs> I guess I did choose advanced, didn't I? <laughs> Wait, what? What? It just reloaded my quick save for me? Stay activated. Uh, stay frosty? Stay toasty? What is it? Some YouTuber who says, like, stay toasty or something. Maybe it's their toasty. Whoa! Dude, that's amazing! Yeah, because of course that would happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You can make rockets? And I'm just now learning this. <laughs> right, well, enough of that. What? Invisible fizzlers. This game. That was weird. All right, so. Oh, right, because I didn't actually interact with the cube, I have to fix that. Whoopsie. How about... I make this easy on myself. Oh, come on! Fine. <laughs> you wanna play dirty, I'll play dirty. Yeah! Yeah! 
that's not what I expected to happen, but I'll take it. <laughs> uh, I was probably supposed to use that somehow. Which now appears to be... Not a thing I can do anymore? Whatever. You taught me the mechanics of this. I will use the mechanics. What? <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> yeah, okay. Apparently I was supposed to use this somehow. Fine. <laughs> what is happening here, though? I can't move very easily on these. Somebody like to explain to me what's happening here? I'm a magician. <laughs> I have no idea how I did this, but it's amazing. Oh man. Hmm. Decorative? This is like a barrier. Ah, fits in with these things, creating these barriers, huh? What the heck is this signage supposed to mean? <laughs> Well, I've officially broke the map. <laughs> Although I have a feeling I broke the map on more than one occasion already. Dude, this is amazing. Oh, now they stopped! Something about the button broke it, I guess. Makes me wonder. What happens if I... If I try to create a rocket... Oh, I bumped it by mistake. Ooh. Almost had a chain reaction there. Almost. Oh, right, that kills me. <laughs> Not sure what I was thinking there. I think I have an idea of how to accomplish... something. Oh, I'm glad I saved here. This is a nice place to save. Alright, so... Where that is. What? What did it bump into there? This game confuses me. This worked perfectly fine earlier. Right, so. Excellent. Excellent! 
Not what I expected to happen. Mm-hmm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh huh. Let's uh let's try that again, please. Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye, cubes! <laughs> oh, wow. That's, uh... That's my dream come true. Like I did- I did say at the beginning of this episode I would spend more time messing with the cubes than actually solving the puzzles, right? I did warn y'all in advance... ...about this two-hour episode. I don't know how long it is. <laughs> Oh, man. Right. Well... Hmm. Now that I've done that, that's quite enough of that for today. I think... I think I need to take a mental break here. I think this is just too much for me. This is way too much. So. Mental break activating shortly. I will be back momentarily. Alright, so. For the rest of this video, my microphone is muted. So this will be a post-commentary. As you can see, we have some floating cubes here. I thought that was cool. I just wanted to record it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this map is very buggy. Hey, rocket cubes. But yeah, I muted my mic when I had my little mental break. I did ha eat some food, and recorded Duskers, quite tense, but, uh, yeah. Post-commentary time. So, uh, I had to figure out this map, and, uh, the one thing I figured out off-camera was that when you do this, these- these doors open. This door's open. Yeah, the fizzler turns off and the door opens. And so I started wondering if I needed to come back here and get the- the- the other cubes, but they're nowhere to be found. And, uh, I was, like, confused why- why the door even opens like that. And when you go over there to push the button, nothing happens. And the track thing's gone. Yeah, that's what I was doing to zoom for there. And, uh, I just happened to notice out of the corner of my eye... ...the, uh... ...the thing over there in the corner... ...is- is a little gap where you can actually see stuff. And, uh, I think I'd actually seen that temporarily when I was no-clipping to search for a cube at some point earlier. So I might have cheated to see that, but whatever. But yeah, that's, uh, that's a little... something back there. I don't know what it is yet. But I have a pretty good idea of what it is. Either way, we won't be- we won't be doing anything too interesting in there. But yeah, so, about my microphone, the Blue Yeti. It's got a mute button on it. It's a physical mute button, and it blinks when it's muted. Yeah, so this is the minigame, and uh, it plays music, so we're not gonna do it. But yeah, my- my Blue Yeti has got a physical mute button. It blinks when it's muted. And, uh, unfortunately... When you press it, there's about a 50% chance nothing will happen. You'll press it, and there will be no results, no effects at all. And, uh, you just have to keep pressing it until it works. Well, I'm also using a pop filter with my Blue Yeti, and that obscures my view of the light, so I couldn't see that it was blinking at all. So I didn't even notice that I was muted for the rest of this video and also the next few videos. Yeah, I'm gonna have to post-commentate at least three videos as a result of this, and I think halfway through another video I realized I was muted, so... That's gonna be fun. So anyway, we're, we're actually trying to progress in the map here. I'm looking at other buttons and such, figuring out what to do with these weird bridges. And, uh, I'm trying to put this cube in such a way so that when I move the other cube onto the other button, it'll put the other cube on the other button. You'll- you'll see. So I'll pick up this cube, the primary cube, right? And that cube I want to put, you know, right there, just so that it doesn't go anywhere too dangerous or anything. And I'm gonna lift up the primary cube. I'm saving, just in case. And the other cube is gonna land on that button way over there. You see it? Just barely. 
Yeah! Perfect. And then we're gonna put this cube here, and go over there and check on it. So that turned off the death grill there, so I can actually walk through there now. And I'm looking at this weird target pattern on the ground. I think it's just decorative. I didn't- it didn't actually end up doing anything in the map, as far as I could tell. Well, here we have this weird laser setup. It's got a check mark on there, and the check mark confuses me, because I don't actually understand... ...what's going on with the signage here. And I still don't. Even after playing the map, it's really confusing the way this works. Uh, it has this- this bridge here that we're walking on. It has two inputs into it. One of the inputs is this button that I just lifted the cube up off of. And the other input is the laser over here. And whichever input gets deactivated most recently will turn off the bridge. So if I take the cube off the button, it turns off the bridge. And, or if I block the laser, it will also either turn on or turn off the bridge? I don't remember. We'll see in a moment here. But, uh, it, it took me a while to figure out. It's kinda frustrating the way it's laid out like that. I wish the signage could've been better for it, or maybe it could be better communicated, but... All I know is that for sure, it took me a long time to figure out. So here I'm- I'm getting ready to take this cube. Oh yeah, I'm talking about the stay activated thing. I was confused about this bridge staying activated, and then I remember that before I took my break, it, I had read that it stays activated. So yeah, we're blocking the laser to see what it does, and as you can see, the bridge is still on. So, evidently, when the laser catcher receives a signal... ...is when the bridge turns back on. So yeah, I'm still confused here, because this is- this is like, not making sense to me, the way the signage is laid out. Look at that, it turns off! It turns- I see- I, I can't- even after I've played the map, and I'm post-commentating now, I still can't figure out how this works. <laughs> it is not intuitive, at all. So yeah, I'm walking across the bridge, doing all kinds of things, experimenting, trying to understand this, and it is just not making sense to me. Eventually I do figure out what I have to do here, and it's kinda tedious. Yeah, so what I did was I lifted the cube there, and it lifted the other cube over the laser, so that the laser catcher was activated and then deactivated, and that caused this bridge to turn on. Really confusing. It's clever, but it's really confusing the way it's presented. I think there could be a better way to present that, Quentin, personally. Yeah, and that- that makes you- that messes up the bridge, so now we just have to... I'm walking over here to mess with this thing, but I don't actually need to. I just need to lift up the primary cube again. And also on this map, constantly, for no reason, I'll just randomly lose grasp of cubes. I don't understand why. I think I mentioned that already. In the part with commentary, but whatever. Yeah, so I've reactivated it. And this is the part where I'm figuring out how to get all the cubes over here, because you need all three cubes over here. Which means that the bridge needs to somehow remain active long enough for you to get all the cubes over here. I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah, those are the buttons I need to put all three cubes on. As you can see, I figured it out. So what I did is I pushed that cube all the way there. I'm gonna take this one all the way back next to the primary cube. And... We're gonna inchworm our way along. So, when I pick up the primary cube, I'll move it... As long as I keep it... As long as I keep blocking the laser when I put it down, I can go back over there, run over there, and move the cube. I'm moving this one just to be safe. Yeah. Move the cube. Ouch. Put it there again, and then we go back and inchworm again. That's the only solution I could figure out here. It's kinda tedious. I think it's honestly a little bit too tedious, for my liking. It is clever, but tedious. It takes a while. Just inching our way along. Slowly making progress. And that time I got pretty close to the laser catcher there. Yeah, I remember commenting about that being pretty close. I like the sheen on that- the green circle on the cube there. Kinda looks like candy, almost. They're very shiny cubes. I never commented on how shiny they are, but man, they look like candy. They, you just wanna eat them up, don't you? I think in a previous Quentin map, I did comment about them looking like candy, or something. But yeah, in this map, I don't think I commented about it, so... Now you have commentary about them looking like candy. That's something you didn't have before. And here I'm trying to figure out the best way to move the cubes over there, and I realize that I'm- I'm doing things the hard way. <laughs> I just need to put the primary cube down on one of the buttons, and then I can put the other cubes wherever I want them afterwards. Yeah, ta-da! 
And that is the end of the advanced maps, actually. So, what I actually did was, since this was the end of the advanced maps, I went back and I decided I wanted to play the original maps, the normal maps, because I felt like I had somehow missed out or skipped on, on them or something. I would misunderstood the whole normal versus advanced thing, so I have to restart the map here, and that's what I'm talking about on this screen. We're not gonna vote on the map just yet, because we haven't seen all the map has the offer just yet. Here we go, we're loading into it. And so as you can see, I was talking about at the beginning of this episode that the loading screen does this thing twice. This is the first loading screen, and this is the second loading screen. As soon as it finishes loading, for some reason, it just decides to load again. And I don't know if Quentin did that as a workaround for a bug or something, but uh, yeah, this map, whenever you load it, it has two loading screens, which is really bizarre. Yeah, we're setting it to normal difficulty this time. And the only difference in this first puzzle here is that instead of a laser cube with- with walls that you have to bounce the laser off of, it's just a regular cube that you put on a button. Honestly, I think that's a much better puzzle, especially because, you know, the- adding the laser cube with the walls to bounce off of, that doesn't really make it more challenging. That just makes it more annoying, because you burn yourself with the laser and you have to, like, figure out the angle. It's- it's just really too confusing for my liking. And also, for this- for these tutorials, I was hoping there'd be a tutorial that explained that one cube that when you fizzled it, it would just respawn, but no, there's no tutorial that explains that, so that's still a mystery as to how I was supposed to know that. But yeah, so this one, the difference is that there's only one button. So there's no button by the door there, right there. And instead, the X's are actually useful because they actually are relevant to the puzzle. Unlike in the advanced version where the X's are meant to be ignored. And it takes me a while to remember my solution, so instead I'm just fumbling about putting the cubes in the wrong positions and such. But, uh, it is easy enough. I do eventually get it. I, th I think I was commenting about how it is neat that the scripting works to detect when you go through portals and stuff. That's not easy to script when the game doesn't expose that information to you in any reliable way. But yeah, so I, I remember now that I have to put the cube, primary cube, on this X, and then put the secondary cube over here on this X instead. And then you can just walk forward and it's easy peasy. There you go. Ta-da! The difference with this puzzle is that you do actually have to use portals in this one. In the advanced version, you don't need portals at all. I'm- I'm not sure what Quentin was thinking with that, I must have broken it somehow. But yeah, in this version, you cannot get the cubes into the correct positions, uh, just by walking with this amount of distance you have here, because the width of the platform is much more than the length of the platform, or vice versa. Kind of hard to explain. But basically, this starting platform that we're on right now, one of the dimensions is longer than the other. And so you have to take advantage of that by walking through portals. And it takes me a while to figure out how to set it up. Yeah, so as you just saw there, I could not get across just by walking normally like I did for the advanced version. And I'm all talking about f trying to figure out how to set up the portals here. It takes me a while, as you can see. It's actually quite a simple solution. I do like it. It's a good puzzle, Quentin. But, uh, the advanced version... I'm pretty sure I broke it. <laughs> this lava texture always reminds me of Minecraft. Like, do you remember when Minecraft had cheese lava? That was fun. Come on, past me. Figure it out already. There you go. I've got it now. Oh yeah, and for some reason it just decided to let go of the cube for some reason right there. So yeah, I need to take the primary cube and move it all the way back. It doesn't really matter too much which direction I go. I just wanted to walk in the direction that actually had more portal surfaces. So yeah, I'm walking all the way back here with the primary cube. And then I need to set up these cubes in advance. So I'll put this cube centered on this square. And take this other cube and center it on that square. Ta-da! Set up the portals. I'm aligning it up with this cube. It doesn't really matter to have the portal lined up, that's not necessary. It's just something I wanted to do. Because the, the actual positions of the portals doesn't matter too much. There we go. So then I just put them on the buttons. 
Ta-da! They're kind of bouncing around. It, it almost scared me, like I thought that they weren't gonna make it properly. But they did. Okay, this version. This version, uh, the easy version of this one. There's no lava. See? Look at that, I'm zooming in to point out the- the lack of the red squares. I don't- again, this is one where the advanced version wasn't more challenging, it was just more tedious and annoying. Cause this version... is pretty much the same as the advanced version, it just doesn't have the annoying lava things that made you have to start over if you touched them barely. Cause I use the exact same solution, basically. I just, you know, do almost exactly the same thing as I did before. Drop the cube, look at the shadow. And then I accidentally mess up with the portals... here. Like, I'm trying to- to place things in just the right way, but it can be tricky sometimes. So this one, this- this- this attempt works out mostly fine. Yeah, like that. And then I have to find a good place to put it, because I can touch it! And I think I could technically just walk over there and put the cube on the button by hand, because it's already- as you can see, it's already extended the bridge. And turned off the fizzler. I could just walk over there and put the cube on the button myself. But no, I have to solve it, man. I didn't even notice that the bridge and fizzler were were toggled. I thought I still hadn't solved it yet just because I hadn't left it on the button. <laughs> and here's where I messed up. I accidentally confused myself with this. And I couldn't put the portal back where I had it, so instead I have to try again. And eventually I do get it. There we go. And then I can do this to put it on the button. Kinda hard to see from a distance. There we go. And then I realized that the bridge and light- uh, the, the bridge was on and the fizzle were off the whole time. And then this is the ending of the normal map, so... Yeah, th then I go and talk about the problems with the map and how I didn't like the advanced versions because they were just more tedious. I did like the other advanced puzzles though, the ones that come after this. Those were quite clever, and uh, it took me a while, although it was kinda buggy. I wish they had been better explained, though. And, uh, yeah, I guess I just stand here for a long time talking about the stuff I've already talked about. Eventually I move into the exit, yep. Kind of, maybe. Maybe? What am I doing? I don't actually remember anymore. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm talking about something, but I don't know what it was, because my microphone was muted, as I said. There's still a good chunk of video left, what am I doing? What- what did I spend all this time talking about? Did it take me that long to get my thoughts across? I can be rather long-winded sometimes. But yeah, the next several videos- I should probably mention that, the next several videos are also gonna have post-commentary, unfortunately. So... yeah... My bad. <laughs> Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!